Hello, welcome to another lesson on learning Wagtail. In this video, we are going to be talking about the blog detail page. So recently, we got set up with a blog index page, which is supposed to list all of our blogs. Currently, it doesn't. It does nothing. It looks pretty, does nothing. Our homepage, also kind of same, same. You know, we're looping through a list, but it's not actually going anywhere. So that's, that's no good. So what we want to do is create a new blog detail page or just a blog page. Um, so what I'm going to do is open up my blog slash models dot pi and I'm going to go class blog page or sometimes I like to call it a blog detail page depending on how big the project gets. Uh, let's just call it a blog page for now. It's going to inherit the page. Uh, parent page type is going to be blog index page. That means it can only ever live under the blog page, which means your website.com slash blog. That's the blog index page. My first post, that's going to be the blog page or the blog detail page. And this makes sure that this cannot work. It's not homepage and then some random blog post there. It all has to live underneath the blog, which is quite helpful for search engine optimization. And it's also very helpful for just mentally organizing a lot of content. On that note, we're going to go back up to our blog index page and we say sub page types is the blog dot blog page. That's right down here. So home page cannot live underneath a blog index page or really nothing else can except the blog page itself. Uh, this, what did this autofill with? In fact, you know, I'm not even gonna look at that right now. I'm just gonna go straight in here into the actual design. And what do we have? What do we absolutely need at this point? Title already comes with it. Category, we're actually going to tackle that in the next video. Uh, page, or not the page, but the date that this was originally published already comes with Wagtail. A four minute read, we don't know that one, so we're going to have to create that field and a bunch of rich text in here. Um, it's not just rich text though. There are, ooh, this is a stream field. So we got a big old image, we've got uh, some sort of call to action, we have a quote block in here. Um, we're actually going to avoid adding some highlighting in here because uh, that gets into more front end stuff and it's not really uh, wagtaily. Um, but if you wanted to, you could absolutely add that in there as well. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to add da, 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 not the summary. Oh, wait, was there a summary? Did I miss that? No, there isn't a summary. All right, so close yet so far, Copilot. What we're going to do is add reading time in minutes, and this is going to be a Django model of an uh, an integer field, which could be massive. Technically, it could be a huge number, um, but we're just going to leave it at this. And then we add a field panel for that reading time in minutes. Next, we're going to want to talk about this thing called a stream field, and a stream field is a way to mix and match your content. And this is amazing. Why do I love this so much? It's because I can have some rich text up here, I can have a quote here, a title here, a list here, some sort of CTA in there, uh, more rich text, a giant image, more rich text, some other code or, or, or highlighting if we wanted to. We could have all sorts of things and it doesn't have to be the same format every single time. Instead, we can have a quote at the top, we can have an image at the top, we can have just an image, we can have just a call to action, we can do these types of things. And it doesn't have to be in any particular order. Now, when we hard code something like a title or how long of a read this is, that doesn't change. That's in the same spot in your template all the time. But this, all these little components in here, you can change the order of them. That's a stream field. So in here, we're going to say the body is a stream field and this is a list. Now, what do we have in here? We have... Uh, we've got some content, so that's gonna be rich text. We have uh, a quote block, which actually I think comes with rich text, but this, I think this is gonna be a little bit different. Yeah, so we've got a block quote, and it has a paragraph in there. Presumably, it requires the paragraph for the styling, so we're gonna do that a little bit differently. More rich text, uh, and then we have some sort of Twitter block, it seems, a, a quote with an author and some sort of tweet button and an image. So we're gonna keep that pretty simple. We have four blocks. So this is going to be a list of tuples with two values. 
So the first one we're going to call content. And this is going to be blocks rich text block will import that in just a second. And what I like about this is it has a features feature, never thought of it that way. Um, which basically says, hey, we're going to use rich, a rich text block, but instead of allowing images and everything and embeds and videos and stuff, all we're actually going to allow is bold, italic, we have some links, sure, why not, uh, ordered lists, unordered lists, and maybe a horizontal rule, I guess, we can always change that later as well. Uh, and the template, this is one of my favorite parts, template is going to be blog, slash block slash rich text very close. Uh, we're actually going to get rid of the blog. And the reason we're going to do that is because this is a stream field, just because it lives in the blog app doesn't mean it's exclusive to the blog app. So we're end up we're going to end up putting this template in the global templates folder. So just like how we have includes for our navigation and our footer, we're gonna have another one in here. New file, we're gonna call that blocks, that's a folder name, and then richtext.html. We'll do the front end stuff in just a quick second. So now I'm gonna hit comma, and we're gonna create a, a second one. We're gonna do an image, and this one's gonna be an image chooser block. We haven't imported that yet, but it will come. We're gonna use the template is equal to block slash image dot HTML. Oh, it just auto filled. I had my face down in my keyboard for a second. Uh, so I didn't quite see that. Um, and then we had the quote block. This one is very close. We could use a character block if we wanted to or Wagtail comes with one called a block quote block. And yeah, sure. We can keep an icon if we wanted to, although it's a block quote block. So it probably comes with its own icon anyways. And then lastly, what was the last one? I feel like I'm missing. Oh, the Twitter block right there. And the Twitter block is going to be an interesting one. So I'm going to dissect these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flesh these out real quick. And then I'm going to add these imports. And then I'm going to show you a little bit more about how this works. So we're going to call this one a Twitter block. And in here, it's going to be a blocks.struct block, which allows us to mix and match all sorts of blocks should I be able to spell any of that correctly. So here we have text, and that can be blocks dot char block doesn't have to be long. And we're going to say that is required by not saying required false. Uh, we're going to say an author in here. And this one is going to be blocks char block. And do, 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 do. template is equal to blocks slash Twitter block.html. Let's put those in apostrophes. And I have some sort of formatting issue in here. What did I do wrong? Okay, that highlighting looks right. Now we need to go and import some stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import this right, right above. Usually I put it at the very top. I'm gonna put it right here so we can see what happens. So from wait till core fields. It's actually wagtail.fields. If you're using older versions of wagtail, it is wagtail.core, but in wagtail six uh, and beyond, actually I think it's wagtail three or four and beyond, uh, we got rid of the .core. So we're not using uh, stream uh, .core, we're gonna use wagtail.fields for the stream field. Then from wagtail import blocks. And lastly, we need to import that image chooser block. Um, There we go. We actually don't need the rich text field. Copy and paste that up here. And I think that is all we need to do at this particular moment other than field panels. We need a field panel in here and we need body. That comes from right there. So let's open up our terminal. Apparently there are no issues. That's amazing. It doesn't happen very often. Actually what we wanna do is not migrate. We wanna make migrations and then sing it with me. My, my, my great. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. We can add a child page. If you're not sure how I got there, this is the home page. This is our blog page. Click on that, click on that, or in here, there's usually add child page. Oh, I guess only in edit view, there's an add child page. There's a little plus icon here, and it's gonna be my first post reading minutes for 
sure it's just gonna be the number four. Body, let's add just a little bit at a time. Content, let's literally just copy and paste the content in here. So we're gonna copy and paste that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Publish and view live. And we're gonna see this happened last time. There's no blog page.html. So we go back into a project where we have, let's close a couple of these. We've got our blog index page.html. I'm gonna just save this, resave this rather, blog page.html. I'm gonna get rid of all the content in here. And I'm gonna open up post.html. And I just wanna make sure that this is the right stuff. Category, title, date posted, how long is the read, all sorts of stuff in there. Yeah, 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 this is looking good. Close that up, copy, and paste that in there. Refresh, template does in fact exist. Now we have to do some replacing. Let's go to the very top, category. We're gonna add category, we're gonna say to do, so we don't forget that. We can always do a global search for to do in our project before we deploy as well. Keep a list of to do's, creates uh, issues in GitHub, there's lots of ways to do that. Page.title, we also want to change this date. So we're gonna do page dot first published at, this one always gets me, so please bear with me in case I don't get this right. FDY looks right? This is the part that I almost never actually get right when it comes to formatting a date. And the four minute read part is going to come from the reading time in minutes. Reading time in minutes, there we go. And let's refresh our page, April 2nd, 2024. All right, so that is all in there, but this isn't actually our stuff. What we need to do is a little dissection. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in here. Maybe, can I close all those up? No, I can't close all those up. Uh, what I'm gonna do is something really gross. I'm gonna put a bunch of horizontal rules in here and we're gonna see, hopefully that splits up the content a little bit. Wow, that looked terrible. <laughs> Let's try that once more. Uh, test. Okay, so this giant kind of not so lovely looking line, uh, everything below it is the original content, everything below it or above it is gonna be our content. So we need some rich text in there and we need to actually add our stream fields. So what we're gonna do is load wagtail core tags and we are simply going to type include blocks page dot body. And we should hopefully see, uh -huh, in block, uh, what did I do wrong? What am I not seeing? I bet you it's super simple, include blocks. <laughs> yeah, right there, include block. Boop, there we go. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well that did nothing. Let's go back into our models. We only have a rich text field in there, a rich text block, and it's supposed to be using block slash rich text.html. Hey there, let's just see if that shows up. Oh, there it is. Now, when we're using any sort of block, typically we refer to self instead of page. We're not passing the whole page into each one of these templates, we're just gonna pass self, which is this code. Technically, actually, it's just this part. So in here we can do self and it starts to show up. Now it's not formatted the right way, but it does in fact show up. Now what happens when we edit that page and let's add a link right at the very beginning to, sure, the home page. Publish, refresh, Kind of looks like nothing is there. There is in fact a link there, but it doesn't really look like it. So we have some styling to do on top of this. And this is where, where Wagtail gets a little bit tricky. All right, so what we're gonna do is we, we want these classes in here. So I can right click, inspect, and these are the classes for the rich text area. Right, if I go up here, highlight over, yeah, that's the rich text area. Cool, so what I'm gonna do is in my rich text, maybe I create a div with all those classes, and I took that right from the template itself, 
It is, so this looks like rich text area, and, and okay, everything is in there. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this does. And we're doing a little bit of dissecting, not a lot, but a little bit. And look at that, that's starting to look a lot more like this. That's pretty fantastic. All right, this video is getting to be a little bit long. Uh, you can't see what I'm looking at, but I'm at uh, a, little bit, a little bit over my time for the length of video that I like to create. So I'm gonna split this into another video. And in the next one, we are going to take a look at adding an image block, a quote block, and a Twitter block.